Hey, you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Mystic Beauty. Welcome back to the Cosmic Royal Family. How are you guys doing? I hope that you guys are doing amazing. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if you guys are returning, welcome back, okay? All right, so we're gonna do, um, let's do a what comes up comes out. I haven't done one of these in a very, very long time. Let's just see what comes what comes out, okay? Um. What do I want to start with? <clears throat> All right, let's start with my Karma deck. And let's see what comes out. Also, I know you guys noticed that lately the comment section and live have been closed, y'all. The energy just is just too chaotic right now. And I really want to be able to focus on the messages for you guys as well with minimum distractions. Um... I hope that you guys, you know, understand. I know that you guys really enjoy the comment section being open, but it's just been, it's just, just, I don't like that. I don't like the energy. Um, and I, I know that you guys notice also that in the comment section, like there's been just like an uproar of um, troll energy. And I really think it's like bots or something like that. And the reason why I feel that way is because there's no way that every time we go live, it's seven or eight uh, trolls at one time. And my moderators have been work overtime. And then, you know, I'm I'm friends with other spiritualists as well. And they're having the same issues, the same complaints. So I really feel like it's bots for real. But, you know, I we just cannot let the enemy um, stop us from getting these messages out. And I really feel like that's what, the, what it's about or whatever. So for the time being, um, until I get clearance from um, my team, the comment section will be closed. All right. The, the chat will be closed off. And my moderators, they need a break. They've been working so hard. So, all right. Also, if you guys have not subscribed to my Twin Flame channel, 1111 Star Lovers, make sure that you are doing so. I updated content over there the past two nights or whatever. I needed to show more love over there. I need to be more consistent over there as well. So I'm going to be working out a schedule. Um, And while I'm taking a break from the comment section, I probably won't be active as getting back with people. I'll still be active on my shop and stuff like that, y'all. Um, like today I'll be catching up on more orders and stuff today, but yeah, I'm just trying to get everything back, um, in order. All right. So what is this? It says, stir, stir up the situation by using, be open to new ideas and then a, and then a way, an unusual example of a different way of looking at it and unexpected change. Somebody needs to be open to a new way of, of looking at something. Well, tell me more, Uranus energy here. Tell me more. Thank you. Freedom. Associations, your circle of friends. Some of y'all circle of friends has gotten really small. I'm not lying. Like... Um, some of y'all could have had like four or five people that you consider friends. And right now you probably can count the people that you really consider to be your friend on one finger for real, like one or two, no more than two fingers of people that you really, you really say this is your friend. Um, and that's because those people, um, they made the team. Um, there was like some type of spiritual tryout because, and they didn't even know that they were pretty much being tested. God was testing them, um, their eligibility, their qualifications of being in the life of his child. And some of them didn't make the team. They didn't pass. Um, there were certain tests and things that came about with, with those friendships. And, you know, they they snaked you. They snaked you behind your back, whether it was talking about you um, to another group of friends that they feel like is their friends or just not showing up for you really, you know, um, when you needed them to be like... Um, you guys could have just really, and I know, I know you guys give your best um, in every situation that you're in. So I'm going to say this because I don't, I don't want to just kind of elaborate too, too much. But anybody that's not in your life right now, collective, that didn't make it over into this new year, like they did not make the team. Just know that. They were they were trying out to, for on a spot on the dream team and they didn't make the team. So period. All right. They got cut. Most high cut them. Give me another, um, give me one more. And then I'll kind of get into another deck. 
Aquarius energy. Someone could be dealing with Aquarius. Someone could have Aquarius in their 11th house. Um, this is a lot of mental energy. This could also be some type of communication coming in from an Aquarius or an airline. Hmm. Yeah, remember and reconsider. Somebody has an air sign that's remembering something or reconsidering something right now. So um, somebody could be dealing with an Aquarius or an air sign that's in their south node. Um, maybe. So, okay. If you if you separated from an air sign collective or you are an air sign and you separated from somebody, this person, it's because they were stuck in their, they were stuck in their south node. This person was stuck on a, on their the karmic path, like they were refusing to ascend. They was refusing to grow and things like that. So you had to leave this person behind, okay? And yeah, let's get into more. Yeah, you were very nurturing to this person. They don't have to be an air sign, but maybe they have air in their chart somewhere. You are very nurturing to this person here. This person kept a lot of secrets from you with the moon energy here. This person was also doing things to get reactions out of you guys as well. Um, this person is also feeling haunted by your absence as well. Yeah, this is somebody who wore mini masks. They projected their insecurities onto you guys as well. You could be dealing with a um, somebody. This person could be a, a earth sign, Virgo energy. You could be an earth sign. I heard what's done in the dark will come to light. What you do to others, what you do to others comes back to you. Yeah. This person didn't do what they had to do to get out of this South Node energy. Whoever this is, they didn't do what they had to do collective. This person was actually very comfortable in this energy here. See, look, service to others. What is good for us, your work. So something about your work collective, like what you come here to do, the work that you're going to leave behind. Because you you guys are going to leave behind some type, some form of work or art. It's something that you're put here to do. You're going to leave this energy behind and it's going to help. It's going to help out the world. It's going to help the masses out. Yeah, see, Neptune, inspire others. Yeah, you're going to leave something behind here that's going to inspire so many people. And it's, kind, it's going to like really show your sacrifices. Like you guys are currently making a lot of sacrifices or you feel like you're making a lot of sacrifices. Like that's a part of your journey. You may be a Gemini. That's a part of your journey. Something about your innocence with the trust of a child. So your 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 childlike innocence keep you safe and keep you protected as well. Cause I heard um I heard something about entering heaven if you don't have um the heart of a child. Yeah, what's what verse is that? What scripture is that where it talks about um and I'm gonna leave the other comment section open, only the live only the live comments is going to be closed, but you can leave it in the, uh, the other comment section. I'll leave that one open. But OK, so y'all, y'all, have you have you noticed that like. um, Have you ever heard once an adult, t twice a child? So it's just like, you know, we are t we are a child twice. OK, you're an adult one time. You're in a, you are a child twice, meaning. You know, you will have that that childlike innocence on you twice when you're first born um, through your your youthful years. And then when you when you're really old up in age and you start kind of like what they call it being kind of senile or something a little bit. Um, that's that that's that you you kind of go back to that childlike state, that childlike energy where, you know, you're dependent on other people to take care of you and stuff like that. So it's something about your innocence. It's something about the innocence that you have. It's like that's that's your ticket to the kingdom always, no matter what. You never like, even though you're grown. Some some of you guys have like a childlike energy to you. That's it's innocent. It's pure. It's rare. All right. So let's kind of dig in more. Give me another message. Solar plexus in reverse. What is this? Support our sense of self, our personal power and willpower. 
as well as our knowing of who we are and our contribution to the whole. All right, tell me more about this solar plexus in reverse energy here, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Wow, woman with a coin. Some of you guys could have been experiencing some type of like attacks in your solar, your solar um, chakra. Someone could have been attacking your solar chakra. How you, something about how you make your money because it says woman in a coin in reverse. What is this? Yeah, your willpower. So if you have been feeling unmotivated, like you can't get anything accomplished collective, and even if somebody wasn't attacking your attacking your solar chakra or whatever, maybe you need like a chakra alignment. Somebody, some of you guys need to kind of um, um, sit with a Reiki, a Reiki practitioner or wake a Reiki uh, specialist or something like that. Because this is what's been going on with your willpower. And somebody, I'm sorry, I'm getting an energy of somebody not wanting you to know who you are. Somebody wanting you not to come into um, some type of an enlightenment about who you are. This, this person who's doing this could be like the woman. This person could be struggling. This is kind of giving like a broke energy, a broke man or a woman who ain't got nothing going on for themselves. And they don't want you to have nothing going on for yourself. So they're attacking you. They could be attacking your solar, your solar chakra. Seek, yeah, because you're a healer. Door to spirit. So this is never going to work. And your creativity, something about your creativity. Somebody don't, so you may be, a, you may have to use your, your, your creativity to make money. Somebody want to block your creativity so you can't make money. They don't want you to be the one holding the coin. This is for somebody specific. And whoever this person is, they could be like somebody who don't have anything going on for themselves. Tell me more. Yeah, walking away is in reverse. This y'all also have somebody that's trying to make some type of return back into your life. See, whoever this, whoever this is, see, this is a hostile energy. Somebody feels some type of way about how you make your money, how creative you are, like pretty much how blessed you are. And see, with evolution in reverse, this person is not evolving. This is somebody who has not yet evolved. They could be still stuck in their south node. And there, this is a very hostile energy here. They do, they lack creativity. And you guys are very creative. You know who you are. This could be somebody that you've already walked away from in your past with walking away in reverse. They want you to return. This person sees that how satisfied you are with your life since you walked away. Okay. Um, you are a healer who have direct access and connection to the, to the spirit realm with the, with the door to spirit. Ten more. Give me another message. Yeah, look at that. You're very kind, kind-hearted energy here. This is what keeps you blessed. This is what keeps you guys protected. It's your kindness. You are you are a humanitarian made of love. You are able to share that energy with others. And I'm telling you, that's why you're here. Yeah. Because your heart is like a child, you have full access to the kingdom of heaven, aka door to spirit, healer of ages. You always have access to, to paradise because you because of your heart. You have a you are a kind-hearted person for real. Okay. And that is rare. That is rare, y'all. Like one time, one time me and my sister was talking about it. My sister told me, she said, you know something? There are a lot of good people in the world, but a pure heart is rare. You could be a good person and not have a pure heart for real. So this is giving pure heart energy here. Like that is rare. All right. You guys may also have the gift of vision, the gift of sight, prophecy. It says no matter what you see the bigger picture, no matter what, no matter what you see the bigger picture of a loving, of a loving just universe. Give me another message. Oh, wow. Contract is in reverse. A contract is over. What is this? Y'all, the contract is over. What is... Yeah, you you guys have evolved. You have evolved out of some contract with somebody that you walked away from. And this person wants you to return or they're, they, they want to they come back to you with walking away in reverse. You've evolved past somebody who was stuck in their south. No. Yeah, fertility, you have grown. That's just what it is. 
That's what it is, collective. Tell me more. Give me another message. We're going to get into what happened with this situation here. Yeah, you guys are manifesting a happy family. You're manifesting like your real divine masculine energy here. You could be an earth sign. This person could be an earth sign energy. But y'all, you're manifesting your real, your real um, star lover. That's what you're doing. Yeah, somebody who's not deceitful. Someone who is empathetic. Who's going to bring you a lot, a lot of delight and joy. This is beautiful. Yeah, this person is going to match your fly energetically. So if you're, if you're, if you're empathetic, if you're delightful, you're joyful, you're very spiritually fertile. Okay. You're very grounded. You're very fruitful. You're very abundant. Okay. This person's going to come in matching this energy. This, this person is coming in as a divine masculine. I've been getting this energy for a while. Then you got this past person here who did not evolve. Who's hostile. You got somebody from your past who's so hostile because they did not evolve. They pissed off with the world. And you, because you got your freedom and you, it's like you're satisfied with your life. They're not satisfied. Yeah, they're not satisfied. This person is needing to take responsibility for their actions. For their actions is something that this person did to you. And they, they know that they have to take, they need to take responsibility for it. But you guys have this cornucopia energy here. Like this is abundant harvest, door to value. Yeah. So this is blessings, wealth, security, present. You live in the moment and you are able to bring forth the energy of love in your current circumstances. So this is like literally a present from the universe. This is a gift. You have a present that's coming in. This is this cornucopia energy here, an abundant harvest, door to value. Like any door you open at this point is going to lead you straight to wealth. Like you can't really make, I'm here. There is no wrong turn right now because you have evolved so high. It's kind of like you're going to be granted many options. There is not going to be a bad choice for you. Any, any opportunity that you take, any, any, any new endeavor that you guys participate in, whatever you put your hands on is going to turn to go. It's going to grow and multiply. Whatever you guys decide to do, there is no losing. You're going to win either way. You deserve that. Yeah, the, the universe is cooperating with you guys because you have always cooperated with it. Tell me more. Archangel Uriel is here. Archangel Raphael is here. Give me another message. That's really dope to be able to um, succeed in whatever you put your energy into. So right now, y'all, don't sleep on yourself. If it's something you want to do, you're not going to fail. You are not going to fail. The only reason why you haven't done it is because you feel like it may not work out for you. But for what I'm seeing, there is no failure for you. You only fail if you don't even try. All right. You need to step into this angel of strength energy here and this passionate energy. Like y'all need to really be putting out passion in your in your 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 endeavors right now. Your hopes, your dreams, your your creative ideas. Like you need to be really pouring pouring into yourself right now because I see that this is going to lead y'all to the door of value and cornucopia. This is wealth. This is generational wealth. This is something that you, your great, 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 great grandkids will be able to benefit and be comfortable because of the hard work and the sacrifices that you guys are making right now, collective. But it's, it's important that you guys don't sleep on yourself. Don't be afraid. You have Archangel Samuel here. Give me another energy. Somebody has a heavy water sign in, they, in, in their chart. Or you have a somebody who is stalking you that's a water sign who's upset because you have your freedom this person could be just in their feelings because i heard water so you could be a water sign or this person could have heavy water in their chart somebody's upset because you have your freedom you are happy and satisfied with being free somebody don't want you to be free from them they don't want about nobody else around you the moon somebody has water in their moon you could have water in your moon which makes you extremely psychic extremely intuitive that's where you get your your gift of vision from the nothing slip past you you see everything you feel everything okay there ain't nothing like water in that moon baby that's a that's a that's a psychic on a thousand okay turn you up archangel metatron is here as well yeah community in reverse something didn't work out with um uh, something didn't work out 
with a path that this past person chose. All right. I'm going to pull from this deck. Let's just kind of see what else going to come out. They're not wanting to work with the community no more. The people that they chose over you, they don't want to work with this person no more. Or, yeah, because they, they're thinking about you. They got all these memories of you guys collected, but you to move for you. I see you attracting your real life partner, your real divine soulmate or twin flame, or whoever this person is. Some of you guys work for an evil corporation. All right, you have divine protection, and you've also been kind of guided to prepare for like some type of transition into like a new um a new endeavor. That's probably why I'm picking up on this energy of y'all actually pouring into yourself. Like I'm not telling you to like quit your job, but I'm telling you start working on building something up for yourself while you in this evil corporation here, because they're going to be moving you out of this energy real soon. All right. Somebody could work, could work for like a bank with a central bank. Someone could work at like a desk job. You could work in finance or something like that, but somebody specifically worked for a bank with the C no energy here. Give me another energy. For the collective. Yeah, that's what dang digital digital evidence. Somebody work, somebody work with numbers. Somebody could be an account. You may could be, somebody is an accountant and you hate your job. Like the, the company you work for is just straight evil. You're not gonna be there for long. Like you're gonna be actually working for yourself. You're gonna be making more money where you open up your own branch or something like that, where you you like do, you be a personal account for people, like a CPA or something like that. You're gonna make more money working for yourself than this company who's built on a karmic foundation. That's beautiful. Congratulations. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Somebody's really good with numbers. They work with numbers really good. This could be your job. Give me another message for the collective. Yeah, somebody's upset because they couldn't gaslight you. Give me another message. Thank you. Rumors. Yeah, an arson. Damn, somebody, somebody really was out here gossiping about you guys. But they couldn't gaslight you. They tried with the arson energy here. Somebody tried to gaslight you or um, it's not working. It's not working. They wanted other people to believe, believe you were, look at that. They believe that you were one way and maybe you were like a karmic energy and you're not. Solar flare could be, there's a lot of fire here. You could be a fire sign. Tell me more Holy Spirit. Thank you, underground energy. This death hoax energy keeps coming out. Give me one more. Thank you. The paper trail. Okay, so I'm getting another, another message. If I don't care where you work at, you don't have to work in finance or nothing like that. This is for somebody that's working at a job and they work for an evil corporation. You need to keep your paper trail like always keep a paper trail like um if somebody is bullying you at work or something or somebody is trying to make you uncomfortable i heard like sexual harassment keep a paper trail don't nobody need to know that you're keeping a paper trail because something is going to come up and you're going to have to have some type of evidence with digital evidence so this could be screenshots or something like that you need to keep that there could be some rumors or something in this job about what's going on or somebody in this job could have tried to like spread rumors on you or something like that. You need to make sure you got your paper trail because Most High is definitely going to um, balance the scales out in your favor. And there's going to be a lot of people who's going to be in an unemployment line uh, for um, crossing you like this. All right. So don't worry about that. But you need to make sure that you're documenting everything. What was said, the day that was said, if you have any anything digital, any emails that was inappropriate or out of line, you need to be saving those. You need to be saving those. Give me one more and I'm getting to another deck. Yeah, some company is about to get pretty much burnt to the ground because of like what is going on with this chosen one here. There's a chosen one that work for a um, corrupt corporation. 
you actually could have been spiritually planted there to, to take this organization down because they have actually hurt and, and they've hurt and assaulted and bullied so many people before you. And a lot of times what Mota do is he'll send one of his there knowing what they're going to do. Like he know exactly what they're going to do. That's what it is. 777 views in here as I'm saying this. This is actually um, divinely orchestrated that you are at this company, Chosen One. Because you, you're going to burn this mug down to the ground. Like energetically just the fact that they decided to cross you in this way you're most high is going to push this through for you your team the whole way there are going to be some vets in the company that's going to lose their job who's been sitting in position of power but they've been ruling in a karmic way for a long time they're about to be gone they're about to be gone all right you're like literally the equalizer in this company you don't even know it and once once this job is complete you're gonna uh they're gonna move you and you're gonna be kind of like working for yourself or something like that but this is actually like some type of divine mission as to the reason why you're at this company yeah poison so you just probably work with a group of people who's just poisonous energy all right all right, so let's see what else comes out for the Divine Collective. Yeah, so you have a lot of protection. Yeah, you and whoever this is for, just in general, this don't have to be like a work situation here. But you are surrounded around a lot of people who have poisonous energy. But it says ancestral protection shield. You have a lot of protection against karmic energy, this poison energy here. Tell me more. Yeah, look at that. You're a blessing from God. And people are going to see clearly that you are always the gift. You are always the gift collective. And I feel like there was a lot of people who misused you. They abused you. They tried to energetically bully you in some type of way. They tried to shortchange you or do things where, you know, you would lose in life. But you're not going to be losing anything. It's like most high about to show them clearly, put them bifocals on them and show them who you are, who you are to him. And how he don't play about you. Your ancestors are all working together to keep you guys safe and protected from this toxic energy. No matter where this poisonous energy is coming from. Yeah, because you're the gift. You are the blessing from Most High. You're the blessing from God. You just been around a bunch of greedy people here. Who wanted to just take, take, take from you. But they never wanted to give. Gluttony. Some of you guys, you're going to be, you manifested a new car. Congratulations here. Yeah, you may be a mature man or you have like a mature man energy that's coming in. If you're a mature man, for sure, you're manifesting a brand new car. Look at this. Who is this player? You have a player energy here, y'all. Tell me more about this player energy. Tell me more about this player energy here. This player energy could be this, this older man. Somebody's dealing with an older man who was a player. Tell me more. About this player energy, it's not for everybody. Thank you. Wow. High priestess, pathological liar. So you you mean to tell me you got this this washed out player, especially if he's older. Like this is this could be somebody in their 40s and their 50s for real, who been a player for the long time, who need to get a game up. You too old, go sit down. Okay who is also a pathological liar, who tried to lie to a high priestess. That's a, that is an epic fail. If you think you're going to lie to a high priestess, you are sadly mistaken. You could be the high priestess energy here. And this person from your past could be um, a player. They don't have to be mature. Some of y'all dealing with like an older man or whatever. I'm not picking up mature energy from him though. Like I feel like this man is taking a very long time to grow up for somebody specific. And they are pathological liars. They lie about unnecessary stuff. All right. You could be the mature man who's also the praying man as well. Like you could be like a divine masculine who have a strong connection to source, to your spirit team, your, to your spirit guides as well. You could be the one that's manifesting um, a, 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 a new a new car, a new life, something that you've been wanting for a long time. You're manifesting this energy. It's about to come in. Tell me more. Tell me about this pathological liar here, this player who lie a lot. Look at this. This person is in their feelings because you got new love that's coming in. Yeah, healing heart. So because you guys have healed your heart, you have new love that's coming in. So you have a player from your past. A washed up player who in their feelings? Who could have like left you? Let, yep, y'all. 
Y'all, there it is. Financial karma. This person is going through their karma right now. This year ain't been so nice. No mercy for Percy. This year ain't showing no, no mercy for Percy. Yeah, they have to pay. They're pay. This person is losing everything. I'm hearing money is slipping off their sleeve. Yeah, this person has a lot of demonic attachments. Yeah, look at this. That's, this person was stuck to their demons for real. Okay, but they're in their feelings because all these demons that they were so buddy buddy with that that talked them into breaking people hearts, not being faithful, not being loyal, not being an upstanding person, being a complete compulsive flyer. You know, these demons talked this person into doing this. These demons made this person feel like they was cool and everything was OK and they was going to win. They was going to come out on top. This person is panicking because they're realizing that they've been betrayed. Okay, these demons was lying to this man or this woman. And now they're losing everything. They're struggling financially. Yeah, this person could have left you to heal your heart on your own. You did that. This person was a liar. You you realized everything this person ever told you was not the truth. Like the maybe a few things was the truth, but everything else was a complete lie. You found out later on that this person was a compulsive path pathological liar. And th this is always somebody who has to have more than one lover, more than one um, partner, right? But yeah, now these demons are starting to collect on this person. And they don't have, they want to run to you. I just heard Whitney Houston, I want to run to you. This person want to run to you because they think that you can save them. They think that you can save them from their demons. And that's just an absolutely no, 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 no. Okay. The collective cannot, I mean, they can, but they ain't, this ain't got nothing to do with you. Okay. You don't want to get yourself too involved in this type of warfare. I mean, just because you're powerful enough to do it, because I mean, you, a, you, a, you a beast in the game, you a dog in the game. Like you can, but that don't mean that you should, because this is this person's karma. Okay. This person know it's like they see clearly your power. This person know you got some friends in high places because they know how they left you. They know how they did you. Like the way this person did you, you guys should just be mentally confused somewhere or walking around talking to yourself. Like this person, they, they tried to really take you out of here and destroy you emotionally. And they see how you healed and you bounced back better than ever. This person like, dang, they are, they are powerful. They really, they really do have some help from from source like something is helping this person because this person know how they did you and nobody else was able to like really survive and pull through after crossing paths with this person but you because you a spiritual warrior like come on now you know you 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 powered through that heartbreak and you came out victorious now this person needs you this person needs your help. They need shelter, spiritual shelter, protection. They're hoping that you can use the gifts that they mocked you for, the abilities that they could have mocked you for. They didn't believe in you. Now they need your help. Yeah, they need your help. But you got this lover's energy that's coming in. This is a this is a this is a setup. This person is like coming towards you. It's like if they come towards you and you let them back in, they're going to lead these demons right to you. This is some type of setup. Not having it. You have real love that's coming in collective. And this person, they still can't be trusted. It says stealing life from an angel feeding demons. Yeah, this person be just, just you know, they really could just come in and just take your life from you. And, and feed it to their demons that they that they love so much. Who did this person is loyal to these entities? Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Look at this. <sighs> Some of y'all could have spent a lot of long, long nights up thinking about this person. For some of y'all, this could have been a fallen twin because I did see fallen twin. Um, I didn't take it, but I saw it in the deck. This could have been like somebody who was actually like your counterpart for real. Um, with the 1111 energy here, you could be a high priest. So I have the high priestess and the high priest energy here. So you could spend a lot of long nights thinking about this person, missing them. This person have been off more than they can chew over here with these demons. They're not, uh, they don't have a strong will. So it's easier for these entities to bend this person's will. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. And to get what they wanted from your person. So you guys were being protected from this person for real. Look at that job loss. 
This person is facing setback after setback. I just keep hearing, I want to run to you by Whitney Houston. This person wants to run to you. But this whole situation of already went to a uh, spiritual court. Yeah. This went to the to divine court collective to the spiritual council. No, they've already ruled that this person has to stay away from you. They lost this. If this is a fallen twin, they if this person was your twin flame, they lost their 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 position as your counterpart. You have replacement energy that's coming in. Like a life partner, a higher level soulmate that's coming in for you guys. All right? Because look, it says, oh, lover returns. Like most high knows that this person want to return, but they most high also know what's coming with this person here. All right? Your team, your ancestors, everybody know what's coming with this person. This person is... Uh, they, 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 they think you can save them. And like I said, you could, but it's going to be one, it's going to be one hell of a fight. I ain't going to lie, but you, you, you know, I just, you got to pick and choose your battles wisely. Okay. Like every battle, just because it's a, a, a battle don't mean you always have to show up for it. Okay. This person coming with some, with some, with some mess behind them. And you know, um, God has already ruled. The council has already ruled uh, and pretty much closed out the closed the contract, closed out the cycle, and they've already sent you somebody else in. Mm. I mean, continue to pray for your person. There's nothing wrong with praying for them, but sometimes, y'all, we don't need to get physically involved. Sometimes, as we say, you have to feed people with a long handle spoon, if you know what that means, okay? Sometimes you have to actually keep keep, keep certain people to, at a distance from you because their presence around you, their karma could start rubbing off on you and then, then you'll start losing. Now, you being attacked and you don't know why, like, you ain't doing nothing to nobody, but it's who you are connected to. It's who you are inviting back into your world. Be careful who you invite back into your world because you don't know. Sometimes people leave and come back with, with, uh, with, with guests and stuff, all right? Because you got this, some, somebody else coming in. You got this traveler that's coming towards you. With the praying woman, you could have prayed for this person. You could have prayed ex most high. Send your kingdom partner. Send your husband. Send you send you a husband or a wife, like a man or a woman of, of God type energy. A righteous man or righteous woman. Like somebody who's your equal, equally yoked to you. This person is coming. The traveler is on their way, collective. Because this, oh, can't make it up. Contract ended. Yup, I knew it. This went to spiritual court. If this was your counterpart, y'all, this person down bad. And this, they were summoned to spiritual court. And I'm telling you, the council, everybody agreed that the country must end. And this person lost all spiritual rights to you. All right. This was like some type of spiritual divorce. If this was your twin for real, like you could have been married to this person in the spirit at one time. Yeah. God divorced y'all spiritually. They lost you. And th this is the only reason why this, this traveler is able to come in towards you because, yeah, this is your new partner. You prayed for this. This is so beautiful. Congratulations. Baby, God heard your prayers. So the, the old contract was ended out. Yeah, because this other person was going to come in, this crabs in a bucket type of energy and just pull you down. You have worked so hard to get to where you are collective. This person's just going to come in and energetically pull you down. For real, because they got a lot of stuff going on. They're not having no new beginnings in life right now. This person is also being convicted by God for how they treated you. So no, they want you to share this lashing, spare the rod, spoil the child. This person is getting their butt whooped by most high. And they want you to share those lashings with them? Absolutely not. No. No. Look, energy vampire energy here. This person is just an energy vampire. And look, you guys have unexpected income that's coming in. This person is kind of giving like they just want to come in, seek shelter in you, drain some of your abundant energy that's coming in, kind of like spiritually stealing this energy from you. This abundance, they want you to share this with them. All right? Yeah, but this is why Most High put this death, brought the death to the situation here. This is why. This person could have did this to you in the past, draining you of your good resources, your divine energy collective. 
coming in, connecting with you. And then guess what? As soon as they get done connecting with you, you give them your good energy, whether it be in the bedroom or just conversation or whatever. This person was sucking your energy up out of you and they were getting um, unexpected blessings and income and in their, in their awakened life because of the energy that they got from you. This person was a spiritual thief. They were stealing from you. That's so sad. Whew. What they say, uh, robbing the rich to give to the poor. This person was stealing from the, the rich in spirit. They were stealing from the rich in spirit. You are rich spiritually. So spiritual initiation is here. So get ready for some, um, I heard DNA upgrades or something. DNA activation upgrades or something collective. Get ready to receive more, more gifts. Your, your, um, your team is about to give you more gifts. So get ready to receive that. Um, y'all know the symptoms when you're receiving upgrades. Like it could come off like you got a cold, headaches, just tired all the time. Like, yeah, just so if you've been experiencing that, you're probably going through some type of spiritual initiation and you're receiving upgrades in your gifts as well. All right. But like I always say, like everybody always says, it's new levels, new devils. So for you to be getting these upgrades, it's because they're getting you prepared to go to the very, very next level in your journey. And it's going to be more blessings there, but it's going to be more attacks there too. So they just have to make sure that you are already equipped and prepared with the weapons, the spiritual weapons and tools that you need to protect yourself. All right? I'm back. I'm back. Um, do I want to pull the one in the world before I wrap this reading up? Because I don't want to, what time is it? 44 minutes. I kind of want to make sure I don't drag them out too, too long, y'all. Because I want to start back doing three videos a day over here like I used to. And if I go too, too long, then that probably won't happen. <laughs> let's, let's do one of these. Thank you, spirit team. Give me a um, final word to the divine collective here. Imagination. It says, I embrace and nourish the creative aspects of my mind. Grief is in reverse. Let's see. It says, I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it, but... So some of you guys are, are, you're getting over a heartbreak or you're no longer grieving over the situation here. Yeah, adversity in reverse, you're over, overcoming some, some type of um, adversity. Yeah, because this person wouldn't change. Something wasn't changing. Something wasn't changing. So with the help of your spirit team, you guys are getting over this heartbreak. You're, 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 yeah, you're breaking free. You're getting over some type of adversity collective. Yeah, because this person, that situation, that job did not serve you. Their relationship did not serve you. It did not serve your highest good. Give me one more. Thank you. Yeah, and it took a lot of courage because courage is in reverse. It took a lot of courage for you to do that. And I feel like whoever this past person is, spirit is calling this person a coward and they lack empathy and they were envious of you anyway. Whoever this is, friend, lover, foe, whoever, family, this, this, these people were cowards. They lack empathy and they envied you guys anyway. And spirit say, listen, worry in reverse. You have nothing to worry about. Do not worry about if you made the right choice. It could have been a friendship. You remember I talked about earlier um, losing a lot of friends right before the new year or people who were not friends. These were frenemies. So these people were envious of you. Anyway, you don't don't worry. They lack empathy. They were cowards. They were two faced. It. They had to slit in their tongue like the serpent. All right. And you made the right choice. If you chose to cut somebody off, you made the right choice, baby. Don't worry. Give me one more. Most high and your spirit team, they're going to replace those those frauds with real, real friends from your from your actual tribe, your soul tribe. And you've been waiting for that. It's nothing like connecting with your soul tribe for real, for real. All right. Um, and regret. And these people that cross you guys, whether friend, family, lover, whoever, they're going to regret this every day of their waking life. They're going to regret how they treated you. 
Yep. So, and they're also going to, they're going to regret not making amends with you, making something right, speaking their truth, just overall treating you the way that you deserve to be treated. Because I'm telling you, your, your spirit team, they're not going to let these people forget. Let me, let me get an advice message from my um, advice deck, Andromeda. You guys can find these cards on my website, um, themysticshoponline.com or on my Etsy shop. All right, give me an advice message for the collective from Andromeda. Give me an advice message from Andromeda to the Divine Collective. Ooh, thank you. Practice gratitude. Regularly express gratitude for, for the blessings in your life. And stay curious. A curious mind leads to continuous learning and discovery, keeping life interesting and fulfilling and self-discipline. It says self-discipline can lead to freedom and achievements. Give me one more. Lord knows. Listen, I'm working on self-discipline right now as we speak collective. So when I'm talking to y'all, I'm talking to me because I'm a part of the collective as well. All right. And it says forgive freely. It says forgiveness isn't just for those who have wronged us. It's a gift to ourselves, freeing us from bitterness, period, collective. So forgiveness frees you up. It's not just for the, per the people who wronged us, but it's a gift to ourselves. Give yourself with the gift of forgiveness and it frees us from any bitterness. That's beautiful. Give me one more. Be adaptable, embrace change, and be willing to adapt to new situations. And it came out in reverse. So somebody isn't open to um to change. So you may need to work on that as well. Being being willing to accept changes in new situations and stuff like that. And also listen to your intuition. It says your intuition is a powerful guide. Trusting it can lead you to make choices that are right for your path. All right. So I love you guys to life. You guys are so beautiful inside and out. And as always, peace.